Hey everyone, it's Arlene. I wanted to share the cover of my Evergreen mini album with you all. Now this is a kit that I received from Bona from her Keep On Scrappin' um, mini album Kit Swap Club. And I started it, and to be honest, um, I've got the cover done, and that's it. Um, I have a couple of mini of other mini albums that I'm working on um, for the holidays, so I just really haven't had a chance to get to um, working on this one. But I wanted to share the cover with you, um, and I do have some clips at the end to show you um, how I did most of this, um, if not all. So the tree came in the kit, and what I did is I... Um, painted it with green acrylic paint, and then I rubbed some, um, I think it's called Holly Christmas, um, Xmas stickles. I rubbed it on with my finger, so if you can see the glitter, it's got red, gold, and um, green glitter on it. Okay, and then uh, heat set that, and then with the star, the grunge board star, you'll see that I die cut that with my um, Sizzix Big Shot, and then I paint daubed it with gold acrylic paint, and then I actually rubbed some gold stickles on it as well to give it the glitter. And then on the Santa, the tree over here was already glittered, but I didn't think that was enough, so I took some frosted lace uh, stickles, and I outlined the whites of Santa's coat. So I don't know if you can see that. And I... I heat set it, because when you heat set stickles, guys, it bubbles up, so it gives it more dimension. So you should try it out. It's pretty cool. This family um, the sentiment was already included in the kit. I think, believe it's by Making Memories. And then on the hollies in the background of the paper, I actually added red stickles. I don't think you saw that on the video. And then on the video, you actually will see me distress this music sheet, which I basically used the Tim Holtz um, paper edge distressor. And then I used peeled paint and vintage photo to distress the papers. And then on the edging here, you'll see um, that I actually glued down the paper onto the chipboard using my um, Scotch uh, quick dry adhesive. And then before it completely had an opportunity to dry, I picked up a piece of the um, designer paper and I just started ripping it all the way across and all the way around. So you'll see that I ripped it um, all the way around. And by the way, I did punch it with my my bind it all because I plan on using O-rings um, or my bind it all um, binding system to close this to hold this mini together. But anyway, so what I did is I peeled the paper and then I distressed the edges using a foam, um, using my ink applicator. I'm sorry, you probably see all this glimmer mist thinking I'm doing a video on glimmer mist, but I'm not. <laughs> so I used my ink applicator, the foam. I I first distressed with peeled paint um, around the edges. And then I took vintage photo and went around the edges again. So you'll see. And then this family has popped up with dimensionals, by the way, so you'll see that. Um, and I did use, on the video, you'll see that I, I use these um, dimensionals, but then I also add glossy accents so it will actually stay. And then I did a haul video on a um, garden pick that I got in the floral section at Michael's in the holiday section, and that's what makes the... Um, the little, what are these called, um, on the tree, the little the little uh, garter, or I don't, I don't know what you call that, but um, on the tree. So that's how I, I did that. So anyways, I'll take you into the video um, of how I made this cover, and thanks for watching, everyone. Here we go. Mm -hmm.